Today begins a video series where I will try to give you guys a step-by-step -step blueprint on how me and many top players improve Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The methods I will go over will be by far the most efficient ways to use your time and these methods got me to improve from an absolute scrub who never touched competitive Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in early 2021 into a top player by the start of 2023. And if I knew these methods, I could have improved even faster. But let's get to what this video is actually about. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, at its core, is a racing game. And just like in all racing games, the goal is to cross the finish line in first place. And what better way to finish faster than by actually learning how to drive faster? Simple, right? This is where time trials comes into play. But we're not doing normal time trials here. We will be using a very useful tool called the No Item Time Attack Leaderboards, or NITA, or NITA for short. These leaderboards have the goal of emulating the online experience as much as possible, which means we are only allowed to use the Meadow combos, so I will be using Yoshi class on the Teddy Buggy on roller wheels with Paper Glider the entire video for consistency sake. The leaderboards also require you to not use mushrooms, and you are not allowed to use motion controls, as on almost every track, you won't be using motion glider, unlike in most normal time trial world records. Now that I have gone over the NITA leaderboards and its purpose, let's go over the tracks and at what I want to accomplish in today's video. So it's important whenever you do time trials in general, and especially these NITA time trials, you want to be using two sorts of metrics in terms of how you want to improve two methods are as follows so we're going to be learning certain strats or shortcuts and we're going to set a goal time for ourselves and i'm going to have a one track being just learning a shortcut or shortcuts another track will just be improving my time and then the last track i will be doing both which will be including learning a shortcut and getting a faster time. So for the first track, I have TikTok clock and I want to be learning how to take the clock shortcuts a lot better than I do right now because the way I take them, even though it's consistent, it's not super fast. So my personal best on TikTok clock is a 146.458 and the world record we're going to be taking a look at today is a 143.681. Now, you want to be taking a look at the world records on these NITA leaderboards because you want to be seeing what they're doing differently to what you are doing. So there's a three second difference between me and the world record. So there's got to be plenty of things I could be doing wrong and what I can do to improve. So that's TikTok clock for you. And now on Sydney Sprint, I'm going to be learning one strat, but I didn't really consider this a part of the uh, experiment, I guess. And my PB on Sydney Sprint is a 205.957. And we're gonna be taking a look at the world record, which is a 203.216. And I'm gonna be learning the ramp strats on this. This is not necessarily a shortcut, but it's gonna save a little bit of time that, that could help me, you know, improve my time quite a bit. And my goal on this track is to get a sub 205. So basically, I'm going to be getting a 204x so that's the time you're going to try and see me get today we're only going to be spending 30 minutes on these tracks each but i will be showing you guys me getting my goals even if it exceeds the time limit of 30 minutes so the last track that being madrid drive we're going to be learning the shroomless grass cut at the beginning the way i take it is a little bit slow i do an smt are going to be learning the trick version today of this shortcut and we're also going to be going for a time of a 201.5 or better so right now my pb is a 202.617 we're going to be improving that by over a full second today and we're going to be trying to take the grass cut a lot faster the way i do it probably loses about like 0 0.2 0 0.3 so this is going to be good for us to do and now let's go over the tracks so we're going to go over first TikTok clock. And if you guys want to do these along with me, 
feel free to set your own goals set you know what you'd want to do with each track learn learning whatever you see from these world records but basically we're going to be just going over the world records here and then seeing what exactly i'm doing differently compared to the world records uh, from what i can remember in my ghost and what i do online so that way uh we can improve and here at the beginning i'm not going to be worrying too much about doing these kusan size on the gears because they're essentially just cycle based and it's not worth learning them now here i'm slowing down this shirtless shortcut okay so you want to hop onto the left side of the clock and then you want to hop and get it like that okay full speed all right and i'm having to do this in my editor i can't do these on my browser it's going to be sounding a little bit differently uh just in case if you were wondering but yeah so set your own goals set what times you want to get as well maybe you want to get something like a sub 150 here uh because you know maybe you're not nearly at my level now here the world record takes that a lot tighter than i do that launch trick and again these kusan size we're not going to really worry about that these are not worth learning uh okay we're gonna slow down this part again so they're pretty far up here like this shriveler shortcut okay it's a very similar idea you hop on the left side and then you hop and trick let's see that in full okay oh you land in a drift to the right as well get an extra miniature i don't know if i'll go for that and then here this lap three cut i mean it might be useful if i end up being in first for the entire race but we'll see so you launch trick to the right and then you land in a hop and then main turbo to the left got it okay so there's like basically four different shortcuts there's gonna be one here at the end as well that i'm gonna put down in slow motion now i've, I've technically i've seen this already before because i had to put it into the editor obviously and slow down the parts uh, but here we SMT, we go as tight as possible and then hold wide and trick. And then you can clip that last part. That's not super necessary, but, and that's how he gets the, the 143. So I'm just going to try and PB. I'm not going to worry too much about the time here. I'm going to be more worried about trying to get the shortcuts down perfectly. All right. So we're going to be improving TikTok clock here. I assume my time is pretty awful, so let's do this. I actually recorded what you just saw before I started doing this, like right before. We're going to be doing all the tracks. I'm, I'm going to be doing all the tracks, basically as you see them. So, oh, I need to switch off Scooty. Let me uh, cut out to that. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I'm using Teddy Buggy instead of Scooty, like my main, uh, the main reason is since Teddy Buggy has a lower mini turbo stat, I'm actually having to soft drift a lot better in most cases. So my driving, even though it's not going to replicate what I'm doing on Scooty, it's going to make me basically better. And this wasn't a thing until really way four. Like I would always time trial on a Scooty for the most part. Uh, even if, like back in the Wiggler days at least, when I, when I main Scooty as well. But... Okay, let's try this shortcut. Okay, that kind of worked. I don't know how well that is compared... Or how good that is compared to my actual lap one. I think it's pretty close. But yeah, I think... I don't know what that hop saves. Like, in terms of time. But, uh... Yeah, let's try this as well. Take that a little bit tighter than I normally do. I said not to worry about the Kusan slides, but if I end up being in line for them, I might as well just go for them. Because, you know, sometimes it's just worth it. Okay, I mean... <laughs> I made it, so... <laughs> okay, let's try this launch trick thing. Oh, that wasn't that hard. Okay. You know what? I might even PB right off the bat. Oh, I forgot to put the green timer up. Uh, Yeah, we'll put that up. Okay, I don't think I'm going to PB because I missed that trick, but... Uh, maybe I'll PB, actually. Go tight. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm definitely not PBing. 
But uh, if we achieve our goals within the 30 minutes, I'm just going to move on to the next track. So... The way I'm going to measure the mastery of the shortcuts is the same way I did it in the Rod video, if you guys saw that little mini-series with him, is basically I want to get all these shortcuts three times in a row. So that's going to be pretty difficult to get, but I think it's going to be possible. And that's that's the main way I'm going to gonna try and measure this. So the PB also, very easy to tell whether or not I'll get that or not. But, uh, okay, that was a little jank, and the world record also gets an extra miniature over there. I don't know if I'll be going for that, necessarily. Uh, but, I mean, if I want to master that shortcut, I probably want to go for it. But I'm not quite getting that correctly just yet. We're just going to take it one step at a time for that. So, anyways. Take this really tight. That, nice. Okay, we, we aren't taking these Kusan slides at all. Okay. Okay, that was close. Oh, and I got a little low trick as well. Very cool. And for some reason, I got this first try. I don't think you land in a drift there, by the way. I think I just did that. <laughs> nice. I might get humbled here, and I might be getting like a 147 here. <laughs> Instead of getting close to my actual PB, but we'll see. Let's see... Wait a second, this is a PB. Right? Oh no, it's not a 0.6, it's a 0.4. I think it's a 4.58, but that's a, that's a really good, uh, really good start already. So, the first shortcut is really the only thing we have to worry about here. Also, I'm not going to show the entire 30 minutes, because uh, we're really only going to be showing the progress here. But this video might be like an hour long, even so. So, yeah. So, a key part about time trialing here is just being patient. And also, what I like to do whenever I'm time trialing, I'm, I don't do it right now, just because, you know, <laughs> if I were to do this... I would not be able to talk at the same time. I cannot do two things at once, I swear. Like, talking and playing the game is already way too much. If I were listening to, like, music or a podcast, which is what I recommend you guys do, is just, like, if there's something you were going to do already, and you can do it usually idly or combined with something else, by all means, try that. Oh, hold on. That was close. I don't know if I want to count that because I didn't get the trick, but... I did get the low trick on the cog, at least. So, I don't know. Well, I, getting, I think getting the trick on the cog might be more difficult. Um, but I kind of want to see which one's faster. If we PB, I kind of want to compare, potentially. And this, that actually might be slower, just because of the way the cogs are right now. Huh, okay. Well, anyways, let's try this now. Okay, yeah, you can't go too far to the left, because then you will just fly straight through it. And if you guys are going along with me, if you guys are trying to improve with me, let me know in the comments section. If you're just doing one track, if you're doing all three, or if you're doing two, let me know what tracks you're learning, what you saw in the world records that were different than what you do online, and, uh... You know, so basically what you're learning and what times you're going for. So I want to I want to see those in, in the comments section. Learn, learn along with me. And it so that way we can all not necessarily compare with one another, but, you know, that way we can all have our shared experiences, I guess. These shortcuts that I'm learning, they're relatively risky online, so I might still do the method that I use online just to kind of save myself for consistency sakes but it's good to know how to do it so maybe if in the future i have like a free opportunity to try it or if i'm just you know in a scrim or something and i want to try it obviously when you're around people it's probably not good to go for the extra hop just because you're more susceptible to the bumps but you know if i'm like all alone or if i'm in first 
Okay. I'm gonna count that as a as a perfect shortcut. Even though it was a little bit slower than our last lap one. I'm not getting it exactly like the world record, but I think getting the mini trouble and the, the trick will be essentially impossible, so. Let's see if we can get the second shortcut down as well. Okay, I'm not counting that because I didn't get the gear trick. If I got the gear trick but not the low trick, I still would have counted it. You know, wouldn't necessarily be a perfect one. And I don't think I've failed this one yet. <laughs> Which is surprising because when I first saw it, I thought that would be the hardest one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even get that. What am I doing, man? Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I would have counted that, I think. Yeah. So even though it was a little bit slower, at least I'm getting the shortcuts relatively down. Except for the lap 2 one. I didn't get the trick. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we could easily... We're easily going to PB here, I think. What's funny is, even though I have this one first, this might be the hardest track to achieve my goals on. Oh, just because... By the way, I'm not counting that shortcut, that first one at the beginning, even though it is a clock shortcut. Just because I already know how to do it fairly well. And the way I saw it on the world record is not going to improve. Like, it saves maybe 0 0.05 if I'm lucky. <laughs> and that's only offline, so I'm not worrying about that. But like I said. Okay, I am landing too late, actually, on the first part. So you actually want to... A little bit wider, I guess. Or maybe I, I don't know. So if I don't get it, if I don't get one of the first two uh, back to back in this run, I'm going to check the world record again, which is also important to do for yourselves. If you're like struggling with a shortcut or if you don't get exactly what you're doing wrong, it's just worth it to go back and watch it again. The world record isn't going to change, right? Like, but you are. You're trying to actively change. So, it, maybe you just saw it wrong the first time, and maybe I saw it wrong the first time. Or maybe you're just, just like I am here. I'm figuring out that I'm just hopping way too far, right? Okay, so I got it that time. I'm figuring out that I'm just hopping too far on the second part. So maybe there's something in the world record that will show me how I can consistently get a shorter hop or something. But you're not going to figure out that inconsistency if you don't actually start time trialing. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let me get that part down, too. That launch trick, that, that's actually kind of an important launch trick. I do that all the time, and now I'm just missing it. Okay, second part. Let's see if we get this. Wait, hop to the left? Okay, I'm going to rewatch the world record. Okay, for one... In the world record, you actually don't get, like, the sort of low trick that you do on lap one, which I kind of forgot about. And then also, on lap two, they hop left instead of hopping neutrally. Um, actually, let me double check lap one as well. They do. Okay, so hopping left might be the play. I didn't notice that initially, but it seems like that's what they're doing. Maybe that's the secret and why I'm hopping so... Or so far, and I'm skipping the whole entire clock hand thing. If that's what it is, then we're gonna we're gonna get this done so fast. It's gonna be wraps. This track will have no chance. Okay, let's see. Okay, that was weird, but I got the low trick. <laughs> Oh wait, that was not fast. I think I missed a trick here at the beginning, though. I don't remember. Anyways. Let's try the left hop. Okay, I think I need to be further left. Alright. For the left and left hop. Alright, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, we're coming up to the NISC. Let's see... 
Okay, I'm not hopping, but I'm getting the low trick consistently. Maybe this is my own method. <laughs> I'm gonna try hopping next time, just because... Maybe... I, I mean, I'm getting it consistently, and I'm get consistently getting the low trick, so... I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't try to fix what's not broken, you know? But at the same time, you could say that about what I was doing beforehand, I guess. It wasn't necessarily broken, but it wasn't that fast. Okay, I landed too far to the left. Wait, hold on. That works. I just did the Kusan side strat at the beginning. <laughs> and it fucking worked. I don't know if this is any faster. Uh, let's see what the cogs... I can't tell. I can't tell what the cogs... Well, maybe we can tell with the lap or something. Okay, I didn't left hop there and I fell off. I literally wasn't going for it because I thought it was di more difficult. And now I went too far wide. So, in conclusion, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be implementing this into online. But again, it still is good that I didn't learn it. And I want to get it at least three times in a row, just to see for consistency's sake. If it takes, like, super long to get it three times in a row to get my goal here, then maybe I won't be doing it online, but all a part of learning, you know? At that time, I didn't get the hop, and I think I would have survived if I got it. Okay, surely we can get it here. Surely. There we go. Okay, I'm counting that as a perfect shortcut. And I, I can't tell. Oh. I can't tell if... Going to the left of the gear, or to the right of the gear, or if getting the gear trick is actually faster. Because I'm getting very similar laps. Alright, second shortcut. Let's see. Left hop. And you go even wider than that? Okay, this is my last attempt, most likely. So... I don't know if I'm going to implement this online. Per se, but... We're still going to be going for this. And maybe if I figure out what I'm doing wrong... Then my mind could be changed, you know? Alright, so let's see here. Oh, that was like really nice. And it was a 0.8. Okay. You know what? For a last try, I'm glad at least we got that. And that was not super tight. Oh my god, we're so fast that I didn't even get that gear there. I need to go for that left one. Hold on? Okay. That doesn't count, but it's been better than what I've been doing. Can we take those? Okay, you know what? This could be a great run to finish off the session. Even though I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm not PBing. We get a perfect set of shortcuts. Well, I guess the second one wasn't perfect. But... You're right, Daisy. That was not bad at all. I think if we get the trick, that's probably a PB. So, we're making good progress here. I think I figured out what I'm doing wrong. Which is, the alignments I'm getting need to be different on laps 1 and 2. Like, a lot different. And, of course, the cycle is going to depend on that, too. So, online, it's not going to apply too much. But, I've kind of figured out how to get the the hop trick thing. So, that's nice. Now, we're going to move on to Sydney Sprint. Or, hopefully, we can do a little bit more progress than what we got here. So, we'll see you guys then. Okay, so now we're moving on to Sydney Sprint. We're going to watch the world record for this one as well. 
And basically, for this one, since I'm really looking for a time, we're gonna just have to figure out what exactly I'm doing differently compared to the world record. And I mentioned the ramp strats at the start of the video, but I'm sure there's a couple other things we can find as well. So, UMT, SMT, get an extra mini turbo into those coins. Oh my god, he takes that so... It's so close. He's so close to hitting the wall. Okay, SMT, SMT, hop, and then he's getting the double SMT here. Oh, that's very close. Okay, we might not have, to, we might not need to go for the hop there. And then you get two extra MT there, take that really tight. So this is just all gonna be about improving my basic lines. Okay, we chain until a UMT. Okay, hop twice to the right. And I learned from TikTok that it's a uh, TikTok clock, not the app, okay? That we want to pay close attention to what these these parts are doing. So, left MT, hop, and then, okay. So, let's, let's see, see that all in full motion. Left MT, right MT, it's like the DKJ ramps, sort of, or like the Rainbow Road 7 ramps as well. So you're, you're kind of just doing a cross back and forth. MT's in the air. Probably you're getting an air hop there as well. Okay. You want to land a little bit later than normal, at least in time trials. That's not necessarily necessarily necessary, I guess. Because online, there's, there's going to be item boxes there for you to take. And then this part, the ramp strats again. Okay, so he MT's and then... Okay, so they're always getting this drift like trick near the end. Th the bad thing about this track is that you get this practice like at the end of the track. That's that's the only part that's kind of bad about this. But so we're going to try and get a 204 on this track. Okay, you go really, really left there. That looks so close. And you get an extra hop in, extra MT there, hop diddly do okay 203 216 so you guys can barely see it but i have a 205 957 here we're actually gonna race this just because it's gonna help me see where i am in terms of pace so this is going to be much more concrete like i know exactly what i'm going for here I'm going for a 204 so we'll see if we can get it and then we also want to implement the new strats of course uh, I might actually, now that I think about it, I might have deleted a better PB that I have. I don't know if I might have already have. No, there's no way I have a 204 already. Yeah, this, this start is not good. <laughs> From my ghost. Either way. We're going to be doing strats that I've never done before, so. It's fine regardless. Okay. UMT, SMT. We're kind of already behind, but... Okay. Yeah, that looks tough. Not hit the wall there. Oh, boy. Yeah, but warm-up, guys. I'm doing this about an hour after TikTok. So... Yeah. A little rusty. Oh, I forget if I get an SMT there or not. I did not pay attention. <laughs> we do get this last coin here. Okay, you know what? For a first try, that was not bad. I don't know if that was any faster. <laughs> But, it was a good, good attempt. I, I've never done that, so. If I get a 204, by the way, really fast, I might go for a sub 204.5. We'll see, though. I'm, I'm, I literally cannot remember if I have a 204 or not. So I know at some point I deleted my ghost. I'm not too sure why, but this one isn't that good. That's what I'm trying to say. I literally do not get any startup. Yeah, I can't remember if they get an extra MT there, but I'm not going to go for one. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> also, these ram strats might be more useful than the TikTok clock hand cuts, just because this you can actually kind of outline people with them and get potential trails off on people. Dude, I am awful. <laughs> Okay, I want to try and test something. Okay, I'm going to watch the world record again, because I completely forgot if they do that part. The thing is about these tour tracks is that they're harder to remember, like, what exactly you do. Because <laughs> there's three sections you have to learn rather than just one lap. You know? That's how I felt about these tracks at the beginning as well. I'm like, oh boy, I just have to learn more. It's going to be such a struggle. But then I thought... You know what? This is actually kind of fun. It's better this way. Now I love, like, half the tour tracks. Dude, that is so hard. What are you guys' thoughts on the tour tracks, by the way? Because... I think Sydney Sprint was widely regarded when it released as probably the best track in the game by a lot of people. Uh, but of course, that was before a lot of the DLC came out. It was like almost almost unanimous that this track was like really really good, in a lot of people's top tens, a lot of people's top fives. But now people just think of it as like average because of all the other DLC tracks that came out. So, do you guys like the tour tracks? Do you guys not like the tour tracks? Too much? Is it is this kind of what you want to see in Mario Kart? I don't I don't know. What do you, let me know your thoughts. Because personally. I think it's pretty cool that we get like sectional tracks, especially one like Piranha Plant Cove. That track is phenomenal. But, uh, oh boy. I need to learn not to hit the wall there. Okay, getting the double SMT there is not as bad as I thought it would be. For me, the tour tracks really just depend on the track. Like, for example, Tokyo Blur, I just found really boring, even though. It's a sectional track. There's basically nothing going on, so that's really the only thing happening with the track is the fact that it's different laps every time. And laps 1 and 2 are not that much different. So, I don't know. For me, it just depends on the track. But, I was also thinking about doing this. I might do this eventually, still. But, a ranking the track's based off where they're from. So like, Tour Tracks, SNES, N64, those sort of things. There's no way they get an SMT there. I forgot to check that, but there's just no way. Even if they do get an SMT, I am not going for that. <laughs> there's just no shot. Okay, that wasn't perfect, but I think it's it's good for now, like, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn that NISC, like I know how to do it consistently online, but fast method is gonna be a little bit difficult. Okay guys, I have not gone past lap one for the past like 10 minutes. This is kind of concerning. I think, hopefully, <laughs> we're getting past lap one now. Please. Okay, we've gotten past lap one. Holy shit. Finally. Finally. All right. We're good. Now the problem is we have to save like another 0.7. Off of this. So we'll see if we can do that. That might have been perfect. That looks really good. Those ramp strats right there. Oh, 
Okay, that looked good. I think I'm supposed to get an extra hop in there, but this is fine. Oh, wow. Maybe we can go for the sub 204.5. Oh, I forgot. It's only one ramp. It's not two. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to the ramp strats. Uh, that was not perfect, but I think it kind of worked. I'm not too sure how much that saves, by the way, with ram strats, but... Gotta save a decent bit. Like, they don't save 0.5 or whatever. I think my ghost just makes a mistake somewhere, but... Okay, let's try this again. There we go. And that was bad. I need to watch that ending again. <laughs> that was almost a 204 still. Yeah, but let me watch that lap 3 ending part. And... Yeah, that lap through was atrocious, and I could probably improve it based on my ghost as well, so... Yeah, we're getting very close to the goal already. I think even if I get my goal here on this track, I might go for even, like, a top 10 time here. It really just depends. Like, this track is not super consistent in general, but it's pretty fun. Oh, there is that factor. And all the inconsistent stuff is at the beginning. Like, this this part's the most frustrating part of the run. See, I got it almost perfectly there. That was bad, but it wasn't so bad that it lost a lot of time. No! Okay, we're, we're gonna get like one, maybe two attempts in. And then that'll be it. We're gonna move on to Madrid Drive right after this. And Madrid Drive, I think, could be the easiest one. It's funny because I thought it would be the opposite. I thought it would be TikTok would be the easiest. And then it would be this one. And then it'd be Madrid, but the way it's going, it feels like maybe Madrid might be the hardest. We'll see. Okay. I said two more attempts, but we're getting another one in. We're getting a third. Alright, let's make this one count. To be fair, I also did say that the most- We're getting a fourth one in. The most inconsistent part is the beginning. These- these stair tricks are just very... They're not consistent. At all. There we go. Uh... We're gonna get one more attempt in. One last attempt in. <laughs> one last attempt in. I also started the timer early, so... You know. I deserve it. There we go. Okay, we're ahead. And we got a drift. Oh my god. Not the best of starts. 
could be up like 0.1 at this point. But. Okay. Oh, that's. I hate getting that air. It doesn't happen super often, but when it does, it's always on an important run. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't great, but it's okay. Again, lap three is where we lost the amount, most amount of time. No! <laughs> All right, well, we made some progress. I'm definitely going to get this very soon after after we finish these sessions here. But we learned how to do the ramps, and now we got them down basically perfectly. So we made some very good progress. A lot, lot more progress than we did on TikTok, so that's, that's nice. All right, let's move on to the last track, Madrid Drive. So this was actually recorded live, and he was racing against a ghost here. Sometimes people just end up recording or they have their capture uh, software running. So yeah, we get to see in real time what he was racing up against. And we're going to slow down this part right before the grass cut. So here, I want to see exactly. Okay. So he's just double tree. He's not like doing a drift trick or anything. Hop right before, and then hop again right as he hits the silver thing. Let's watch that in all normal time. Okay, and, and there's like versions. Like the his ghost looks like he got it very badly. Okay, you double MT here. That's good to know. I've SMT'd that before, so that'll save quite a bit of time, I imagine. And then you just snake here a bunch. You go very, very tight. Okay. You don't go for the double trick, and then you empty trick here. Alright, I don't... I think I will go for that empty trick. It doesn't look too difficult. It's more of you have to have the perfect alignment there. And this... This, I believe, is just for the trick here, because... Uh, like, the geyser trick. I might just go for the s &T. You only get... You only get SMT there, and then you... Okay, you launch trick there, on the left side. You sneak a bunch here. Okay. Oh, and then he's holding this to get SMT UMT. All right. Oh, does he get a UMT here? Oh my god. That's crazy. And he's getting the SMT MT trick here. Over the little rails. Okay, he doesn't go right of the little goalpost thing at the end. Then s &T around this corner to get the 159 just barely. Alright. What, what was he racing against, by the way? I'm, I'm curious. Oh, he, he didn't get this up. Okay. So, again, we're going to be racing my ghost. So, I don't have a 611. I know it looks like that, but I have a 617 here. And we're going to be improving this by over 1.1 seconds. So, see how we do. Guys, my brain is rotting at the sec- By the second, my brain is rotting. Okay, I can't even speak anymore. It's how bad my brain is right now. I'm doing this right after Sydney Sprint. Okay, this is our first proper try-in. I did not get the launch trick there. Definitely do want to get that. Okay, this is fine. See, I feel like... 
feel like I'm tricking way too far. If I don't get in like the next couple attempts, I will just look at the world record again. Okay, that was kind of ass. The stairs are kind of inconsistent there, so... I don't need to fret too much about it. Almost. Maybe I need to... I need to start wider a tiny bit. The great thing is we're already getting, like, good starts off the bat, so... There's no... I've got to be taking that way too tight. Alright, we're going to watch. Okay. I'm looking at this right now. And he's hopping to the right. And then he's slightly drifting to the left as he go off, goes off on the right. Okay. Let's try that. So aim right, and then land in a drift to the left just slightly, and then trick. But I think... Okay, I think I figured out why I'm going too wide. So, if I'm not facing further left, I need to I need to face further left so I can actually get to the turn faster. Like, when I'm drifting tight, but I'm facing forward, it takes a lot more drift to get to where I want to be into the shortcut. So, if I'm facing more left, that should mean... I get the angle better. Okay, let's try this. Try and aim further left. Okay, now when I get into the shortcut, I'm too wide. I think I might have to do something with the fact that I'm not getting a low enough trick on the second part. I think you want to land earlier. There we go. Okay, maybe it was that I need a higher trick on the first part. We're already at point three. That's great. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay. Dude, for whatever reason, that extra hop is really helping. I don't know why, but it just is. So, I guess the moral of the story is, you should just copy exactly what you see from the world records, even if it doesn't exactly make sense. Like, I have no idea why that extra hop would work. But it's working for some reason. Because obviously, there's a correlation. As to success rate and be getting that extra hop in. So, even though it may look like it does nothing, which to me it looks like it does nothing, it's got to have some sort of purpose. And I might figure this, this out in post-editing, why exactly it's... That's the case, but it's good to it's good to know. And it's a good lesson for both me and you guys. That if you ever have any doubts, just try and do exactly what you see. Okay, even though that was bad, I still cleared the gap. Okay, okay, we bumped some walls, but... We're, we're cooking, perhaps. Okay, that was really bad, <laughs> but it still works.
Okay, not gonna lie, I kind of just forgot <laughs> what I was supposed to do there. Well, we got past that part at least. Okay, we made it. Even though we didn't get the SMT. Okay, we're on PB pace, but this is horrible PB pace. I meant to release that. Well, <laughs> probably not gonna be a PB anymore. And I didn't get the UMT there. Wait, I just don't get the launch trick there? Oh. <laughs> okay, we're getting the shortcut now. Okay, you know what? If it doesn't look like I have the right alignment, I can just kind of break drift. And that'll save me. And it doesn't lose that much to break drift, so. In fact, this might be my best lap. I think that's my best lap. I'm not too sure. I haven't been paying too much attention to my laps. Okay, let's try and get this part right. Okay, nice, we got it. Cool. Now the problem is, I'm actually just gonna do this. I probably saved a little bit instead of going for the SMT. How much are we up to here? Only 0.4. Okay. By the way, bumping those walls were it's not that bad. Now, taking that really wide is bad. Need the UMT here. Fuck. Okay, maybe I can't go for that. That seems pretty hard. Oh, and I missed that because I missed the UMT. Okay, I kind of <laughs> forgot to do that section correctly, but it's okay. Still ahead. Maybe I will do this, actually. I do get there, right? Okay. Only can really do that in time trials, but, you know. Oh my god, that's, that saves like 0 0.2 by doing that. Yeah, I need to learn how to take that tighter. Take this tight. Fuck. Oh, double fuck. <laughs> Maybe I just won't go for the UMT there at the end. I wasn't- I don't know if I was going to beat my time, though, that's the only thing. Because I was only at 0.6. And I be, need to be up 1.1 at least. So, I don't know. Let's at least try and PB before the 30 minutes is up. Beautiful. Oh, this is a great start. Oh, up. Fuck! I was so distracted by how good that lap was. Uh, okay. I think we can get it. I might- This is probably the track I will be trying after the three sessions. The next, like, what I'll be trying first to get, in terms of my goals. Anyways. Because I am just so, so close, man. 
Okay, so we only got one or two attempts more to go, but I uh, I have not made any progress past, like, I don't know, five minutes ago. Feels like. Just been banging my head against the shortcut for a while. Oh, nice. Not even hitting the UMT. But hopefully I can get a decent run going. Maybe even PB this last couple attempts. Okay, we didn't get the coin. Which isn't great. Okay, one more try. We restarted right on 30. Guys, I'm not breaking my rules, I promise. Mm -hmm. Last attempt. Last attempt. Guys, I started the timer early. Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember. <laughs> Just like last time. Yep, 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 yep. You guys remember. Last attempt. Okay, somehow that worked. It did not feel like I got on the silver beam at all. Can we take those? Maybe up like 0.3 or something, I think. Okay. Uh oh, that's that that wall hit saved me. <laughs> it's gonna be really bad otherwise. Okay, nice. That looks really wide each time I do that. Oh, I got the UMT. Oh my god. <laughs> We're clutching up. Last second. Okay, we can't get the SMT there. Okay, we PB'd by 0.5. Wasn't great for lap three, but it got the job done. And you know what? We made good progress in all three tracks today. So I will take it. I will take it. And yeah, like I said, that lap three could definitely be improved. That lap two wasn't that great either. Probably improved that by like another point three. We get like another point one or so off the lap one. So. I think this is going to be probably the easier ones. Probably the easiest one out of the three. But, yeah, I'll show you guys right now me getting TikTok and then me getting uh, Sydney and then me getting Madrid. And then that will be basically the end of the video. Might do a little bit of outro, but yeah. So this is the part after all of the 30 minute sessions. I added 30 minutes to the timer, two of these, so I've only spent 12 minutes up to this point. And here I wanted to show me getting the 15 shortcuts in a row. So all five of the gear shortcuts, and I'm fast forwarding th these parts because it's not the shortcuts that we have to worry about. So I'm just showing this and the timer so you guys know for sure that I'm actually doing it. And we got the first two down. 
Okay, we're just fast forwarding these parts, showing I'm not being absolute dog shit <laughs> in between them. So we got the second, the well, the second NISC, the one on lap two, I guess, and the third shortcut. So that's three down, twelve to go. You got the lap three clock shortcut at the beginning. That one was not too great, but it works. It works well enough. It wasn't super slow. Missed a trick there, but that's okay. We're really only going for the shortcuts here. We don't have to worry too much about them. And we got it! Plus, we got the Kusan slide. That was really funny, by the way. <laughs> I can't believe uh, that happened. I just, like, stuck to the, to the beam <laughs> for a while. Luckily, I finished. If I didn't finish, that wouldn't have counted. So, I'm glad I did. We got the first shortcut down. But yeah, if you're if you're here guys, if you're still watching the video, I want you guys to comment down below. I'm the realist. Just I'm the realist. No punctuation, so no apostrophe. Just lowercase, I'm the realist. So yeah. And that way the other people down in the section below will also know that you are the realist. Anyways, that's what? That's the 8th shortcut? Yep, that's the 8th shortcut. This is the ninth one right here. We're getting these consistently. I was very surprised, by the way, that I even got this many in a row already. After just 15 minutes. I thought it would take so much longer. And here we get the lap 3 one. Let's see, do we get the trick? Yes. And we stay on the track? Of course. Of course we do. And we PB as well. So we PB from a point four to a point two. Now, I didn't really aim for a specific time, but, you know, getting the PB also accomplished my goal. I did it earlier in, I think, this session, but I'm not too sure when it happened. <laughs> it might have been the first one, actually, now that I think about it. But, anyways, we got the first one, so that's 11th. This is the 12th one. Oh, that was so clean. That one was my favorite so far out of all the shortcuts. We got a .8 lap as well, so it was very good. And we're still going. Still going strong. And... I ended up not... Uh, I think you're noticing. You might have noticed by now. I'm not left hopping. I just thought left hopping made it too difficult. I just ended up going wider instead. To make up for it. Because I, my thought was... If I'm trying to get it optimally and I'm going to miss it like half the time. That's not the way I want to take the shortcut. Especially online. I want to get it consistently every single time. So the final shortcut... Get the launch trick. Get that super tight as well. We get a point three. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. That was TikTok Clock. Now let's move on to Sydney Sprint. So now on Sydney Sprint, we are 37 minutes into the next session. Since we had the 30 minutes on top. And this ghost that I'm racing is a 205.0. So at some point... I had gotten a heartbreaking lap 3, because my laps 1 and 2 are very, very good in this ghost. It's just I messed up really badly on lap 3. Uh, I don't know if it was due to nerves or what. I kind of just like <laughs> improvising part of lap 3, which did not work out so well. I ended up going for this mini turbo because I kind of figured out how to get it consistently. Uh, which was just you kind of start the drift a lot later than you might think. And you don't really necessarily have to go close to the wall. So yeah, this lap one was very, very good, and then I missed that, so that kind of sucked. But we improvised and still were ahead somehow. Not, not by much, but it ended up working out. And I believe this is where they catch up. Is Yeah, I missed the UMT. So this isn't a perfect run by any means, but we only lose like 0.2, so it's not that big of a deal. That little jump thing, that doesn't even lose any time. And then we're going to go for the ramp strats. Let's see... Yeah, we got him. We got him down at this point. Perfect. No sweat. And this NISC is a little bit different. Now, of course, I kind of struggled it in the 30-minute session, but I got this down now. Pretty simple. It's just the same, except... Uh, yeah, here I messed up going to lap 3. I only got the, the mini turbo there in my ghost. 
but we got it and then we ended up catching up right back up so we're basically even at this point and like i said it, it messed up lap three but there's even more <laughs> there's even more mess ups in this go so yeah now we're barely ahead and here is the part we need to get right at the very end drift trick hop tr drift trick easy and I ended up getting an SMT here. I didn't think I was going to go for it, but I ended up getting it anyways. And it ended up being 0.312 faster than I needed. So that last mistake, lap 3, ended up costing me so much. But yeah, that was Cindy Sprint. And we're moving on to the final track in Madrid Drive. So now we're on Madrid Drive. I am almost an hour and 30 minutes into this session at this point. I was going insane. I was going to stop in 10 more minutes. My benchmark was going to be 2 hours. Once the red timer hits 2 hours, I was going to stop. And I had gotten so many runs to lap 3 where I just failed the UMT at the very end, which failed my alignment for the rest of the <laughs> track where I couldn't get the launch trick. And I would just run into the... Yeah, it was just always a disaster. And after the session, I tried again and... I just went for more consistent lines. I didn't go for the UMT because I realized afterwards I'm just like, I'm never going for this online anyways. So I invented my little basically online strat, which I ended up being with. I don't think I'm going to show this here uh, just because it's a ghost and not an actual live run. But yeah, at this point, I was I was through with this track. I was just, get me out of here. I do not want to be here anymore. But I also wanted a good run. So <laughs> we're... Two laps in, and nothing has gone wrong so far. I drove basically perfectly. That wall hit is not bad, by the way. You can completely just hit that wall and get away with it. Now, I was wondering what this lap two was looking like. Because, if I was far behind... Also, I think I have my ghost off. Yeah, I have the ghost off here. Point nine, by the way, is an insane lap. Anything in the 44s is crazy, crazy good. Uh, so... I was feeling really good about this run, and I finally got that part. Uh, I think... Oh, no, I do go for the strat here. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking die if this is not it. <laughs> yeah, I got very mad at myself. So, the strat I actually used there was... I was supposed to be getting a SMT and then a, a, another MT afterwards. But then I just missed the SMT, so I was going for Jeez. UMT, and then I... Just missed the SMT. I, I need to improve this so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. So I improved it by like oh my God, point oh three. So that lap two was just so good that I ended up not doing much better than this. But yeah, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this very long video. I hope you guys learned something out of this. And this could potentially carry over into the next game. So even if you're watching this and maybe Mario Kart 10 has been, been announced... Use these tips in the next coming weeks as well. I will probably be uh, linking them down in the description, the whole entire series. So if you want to improve at Mario Kart in general, or especially Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, be sure to check for that playlist. And I will see you guys in the next video for Mogi Monday. Bye bye